United Emirates officials, including President Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nyan, uh, are in the Eastern Cape. His family and entourage touched down in three planes at Bulembu Airport in Bisho on Wednesday for a visit to the area's game reserve. Now, reports suggest they are here to celebrate the official opening of a luxurious game reserve between Makanda and Bedford. Our reporter, Ronald Masinda, is tracking that story and joins me now. Ronald, welcome. What is the latest? All right, so what we understand is that uh, the planes landed on a Sunday with some landing on Monday. What we also uh, are receiving in terms of the information is that there are around 500 guests, and this includes members of the royal family, as well as medical staff, as well as uh, private security and entertainers. And what we also understand is that uh, the president, as well as the royal family, they are here to celebrate the opening of a game reserve near Makanda. We believe that there was a lot happening here as well as uh, there was tight security. The Eastern Cape uh, provincial government, uh, we also understand is that they applied uh, for permission from Home Affairs in order for this uh, airport to accommodate uh, these guests from the United Arab Emirates. We also have eyewitnesses who saw uh, the things that took place here. Mungaba is a village, a stone's throw away from from Bulembo Airport, Bulembo Airport being an airport uh, that was used during the old sky. It was decommissioned around the 1990s. So, now, so you uh, saw everything. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. uh, uh, the figure, it plays, it and then, so was going on. Then, I'm a police, I'm a police and a Namacho, Nayame, Apa Pangu Kit, and then a petty Ikans, Bamasanga Sundi, Smelly Good, but if you sing it in Ganda, Susa Gonzagan, then there is so eager, who can as the years he too, as a craze, as in goodly pains, Sabes so too lamacho in Apaya, then there is so eager, and I'll say up and up and up away at, then got a muscoto, Swiss and Maka, if a soon one's a muscoto. I bong over an hour in being a Marpolis and a Machuni Sunday, yeah. The Baboni Labandum will be Pumagos replaced. I play on as Lendele at the big castles born at Tin and Gapa, a friend. Then service for your bonus on and Gapa, go to a spoon missing again, then some up in a pan. The Calugons have been Caluboni planes as in his car. Your best Carlos born like he is good like a shows. He was born like Papa's rule, and there's so two persons born. The pants back and Okay, so well, uh, this eyewitness is just uh, detailing uh, William Mad how uh, the planes when they landed, how the military as well as the police. Uh, they were cautioning people here from Nungaba village uh, not to interact uh, with uh, the people that landed on this plane. He also says that uh, those who landed were also not allowed to interact uh, with the residents. But what we also understand from the information that we have received uh, since uh, President uh, Sheikh Mohammed bin al Yahad landed is that uh, he uh, left with a uh, a helicopter to the private game reserve, uh, the helicopter being brought uh, from uh, the UAE. So those are the details that we are getting at this stage. We will also be trying to get uh, some comment from the provincial government as well as an aviation expert with regards to the planes that have landed here. Now, Ronald, obviously, the last time something like this happened was in 2013 with the Guptas landing at the military Waterkloof Air Force. I mean, when we speak about the alleged 20 million rand renovation that's been done at that airport, do, you, do we know anything else? Well, not at this stage, uh, but uh, what we do know is that the provincial government had worked tirelessly to ensure that everything uh, was legitimate, was done uh, according to the laws, because, of course, uh, 10 years ago, uh, a lot of uh, problems led with that regards to uh, the landing of the Guptas. A lot of talk 
was around how uh, the Gupta family as well as people in power got away with things. So the provincial government is saying that everything seemed to be uh, above board. Uh, they did receive, we did receive initially information that uh, only 60 people were set to arrive here, but it seems that a lot more uh, in terms of uh, the information, about 500 guests in total. Uh, so those are some of the information that we're trying to find out from authorities with regards to this particular visit. They are keeping mum at the stage, but we will keep trying just to get more information with regards to this particular visit. But what we understand is that uh, President uh, from the UAE and the ruler of Abu Dhabi, he bought land here two years ago and only started developing it uh, this year. And what we also understand is that around 2018, President Cyril Ramaphosa was in in interaction with uh, the president of the UAE as well as uh, the leaders in Saudi Arabia. And that sort of also motivated uh, pre uh, the premier of the province, Oscar Mabuyane, to go to the UAE uh, where he was in conversation with the president of the UAE, was elected in power last year. And uh, that uh, visit was purely based on uh, trying to get investment and uh, trade agreements uh, between uh, this province and the UAE. And it seems that uh, there's been a lot of interest uh, for from the president of the UAE to come to the Eastern Cape where he owns a uh, private land. But uh, we yet to get any information as we understand that this, that is a private land which is heavily, heavily Guarded, uh, so no media houses have yet to also uh, try and get sort of comment from members of the UAE and the royal family. Uh, but we understand that they're also here to celebrate uh, uh, Eid uh, during this time, and they are expected to spend about two weeks here in the Eastern Cape. Uh, that was ENCA report.